So let me let me give my view just very shortly on on impact and why I think this is important both for the career but also the research, the business. So uh, nowadays, <clears throat> when we write an application or motivate our thing, then it's more and more asked, what is the usefulness of your stuff? And, and we try to motivate it, make 5% better technical or it's uh, approaching the uh, sustainable goal number 13 or any type of motivation and, and so on. But that's not enough because uh, it doesn't matter that your technical improvement is 5% better or something like that because people will ask what is the usefulness in the society. If your car is a little bit faster, what does it do in the society or, or what things like that? So this motivation is also now needed uh, when we apply for projects. And I've seen this in European calls. Uh, they had before, please describe the impact, but now it comes more and more, uh, please describe the impact and what is the plan and what is the post-project effect. What are the effects of the project? Those things come in more and more. And it's uh, no meaning to say that we will contribute to sustainable goal number 13 because it's too broad. So uh, our little project in this world, how will it contribute to that big thing, which is a very visionary uh, thing? So then we need to show something also from a research point of view, what usefulness are we creating? And uh, taxpayers will ask, what usefulness are you creating? Uh, Yasin, what is your research? What my tax, uh, my, my hard earned money, uh, do you do any use or things like that? Because there is uh, this climate uh, urgency, people are more and more aware. And also, uh, like year 2050, there will be many climate solutions and big things, and many of them, uh, a large part at least, is coming from what is in research and development today. Hmm. So it's more important that we show some sensible plans uh, about impact. What impact are we creating from research? And then it is not sufficient as a researcher to say that, look, I have these 13 publications. They have been downloaded 1,016 times per on average uh, on these things because then it's nice that someone downloads articles and reads them or cites them. But what is the effect? If 1,016 people are reading this, is any one of them making use of it for next step? That's true. So this... Uh, regular uh, research uh, impact what we have been using before age index and all these things and publications and so on they are one step uh, but it's only one step for the whole trip so then we need to show okay uh, this research we made a pattern and that's good but it's not sufficient so then comes have you made any startup or have you transferred your technology or shared your data like we discussed at the previous research mm -hmm. business forum? Have you tried to do something? Uh, so that is what, what will be uh, requested and then make a description and so on. So this impact uh, will be more and more important also for the researchers than if there are two applications describing nice plans, technical stuff, if one shows, this is my planned impact, and the other one says, I will reach sustainable goal number 13, I will contribute to that. Then, of course, the one which has a sensible description will be selected. And nowadays, it is very tough um, uh, competition in applications. And uh, last year, we had two applications, EU applications, which were really good. And we have applied those before. So the ideas have been digested, especially one of them have been digested. 
three times for free applications. The first time, we of course didn't make it because it's competition. And then we refined it and we worked on it quite much. And we started very early, all time. And we got into the list and it was um, um, uh, EIC Pathfinder or, or one of those very prestigious competitive. Uh, and then we were number 14 among 35. And usually you get funded when you have this score and we have an average score index ab above uh, 4.5 or what is the normal level of getting into this. But we did not get it. Uh, because it was more competition. Uh, and that is related to many things, but impact is one of them. So, from our career point of view, uh, the research career point of view, we will not get uh, credit, appreciation, we don't show impact, and we will not get money. So then our career is ru ruined, and we are poor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, <laughs> a little bit overdoing it, but uh, it is more challenging. Because uh, so that's uh, in any way we can we can try to describe the impact from our point of view, our situation. If we are in Sweden or India or somewhere else, we can uh, do this. So that's from research point of view why impact is is uh, quite necessary and more and more. Uh, and then the second part uh, is that impact is also related to research. To business. If I have this research idea uh, and we set up a startup company or business case and start to describe things, then there are a couple of questions which are coming. Uh, one is uh, how much does it cost compared to uh, traditional material? Like in my case, I have background in silicon carbide, and when we made a silicon carbide case, uh, whatever it was, and then, then they're asking, how much does this cost compared to silicon? So well, silicon is very cheap to produce. <laughs> and mm. it started 50 years ago. And silicon carbide started later. And due to the manufacturing process, then it costs more to do the material in, in natural way. So it's um, not fair to ask early stage technology from new much. material, what is the cost related to this uh, silicon, which is established in many, many years? But that type I of question comes always. But I think it's not only material science. I think, I think it's in, usually if it's a new technology or in, in, in research stage, it's mm. not like fine tuned yet. So you cannot have such, yeah. yeah. Yeah, those are those early stage motivations, so it is natural. But the question always comes back anyway, even though people know it is early stage, then comes this price comparison. Uh, nowadays, we have the climate urgency. We're coming back to that theme. So it's good that we have this um, study circle about future <laughs> environmental development every second Thursday at uh, 7 p.m. Swedish time online. Everybody is welcome. Yes. <laughs> that was the radio commercial. Now we go back to the <laughs> meeting. Real stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, young people, they, they will, when they decide for job and the uh, uh, citizens in the society, when they uh, decide on things of what they want to do and what they like, it will be more and more environmental related climate and then usefulness also from from business point of view if someone should start to work at a company or so on the money is not the most important what salary do they get or investors they don't invest just only on money they are also investing that they have an environmental profile and personally they would prefer that their money goes to something which has possibility to contribute to the environment and climate and so on also the investment from business point of view will ask what is the impact are you doing something or do you have a sensible plan and one plan is that it there should be some some financial uh, benefit that it's realistic that this can make money 
doesn't make, need to make big money maybe, but small money, so it uh, survives. It's good if a startup company survives. <laughs> At least yeah. <laughs> five years is uh, very challenging. Uh, but the se second is that, okay, what impact can this create in the society, environment, climate? So also investors, wherever they are from, if it's private investors or a group or funding agencies, uh, if they fund in some SME uh, development, uh, it will come. What is the impact are you creating for in your business? So, so then for me, when I look in, into this, there, there are, the impact is very central. That if we discuss it, we will clarify many ways. And when we are discussing research to business, then impact is the central thing which comes back and which we uh, add on different things and modify, but that question comes always back. So this is my view and learning. And if we are looking into uh, researchers today, uh, they are mostly focused on writing papers and those things. And of course, that's important because that's a core part of their work and expertise and competence, which is built on that. And when making business, then we are not used to write the impact descriptions and so on, because we are so focused on the, our research topics. And we, when we start to describe something, we start to think where we are familiar and feel confident. So I start to write about silicon carbide. It's a very nice material, consists of silicon and carbon, and you have different polytypes, all those things I can write. It's very easy to start writing those things instead of this impact part where I don't know the thing. I need to find the information and so on before I can write. So then the impact writing is much more uh, heavy to, to start writing on. So then it becomes less good since we are less familiar with it but we, we need to learn to include that more and more and after some uh, times then we are more familiar with writing the impact and then when we collaborate in team like we discussed in the beginning uh, teams are important then we are helping each other then the impact descriptions will be good so that's the central part why i wanted to share my view in this research to business forum uh, about impact is important for career and also for the uh, business case. I agree. Yes. And the, in, in your case, it's uh, quite interesting because you are independent researcher who started business and then uh, went back to do research about another topic, which is not the company a core activity where there was money in. Uh, so it's uh, different from universities and where you have, uh, where you apply regularly projects and have, have these descriptions. But uh, impact also is also important in your case and the um, malaria, effect and if you can solve those things so that's a part of your personal impact why you are doing this but this is another uh, approach yeah so and now because um, we, uh, we have had this uh, discussing this topic um, maybe we can think of more about the impact we're actually making now when you start to have things in place that you can show that we can actually evaluate uh, the the images of the blood smears and so on so then uh, it's time to talk about impact and when we try to get fundings and so on that's uh, Part of it. Actually, my the speaking of those malaria, uh, uh, the malaria study in Nigeria, 
actually they're done so we have or my uh, business partner has the the pictures now so i'll talk to him this weekend and see how we will sync for me to get the pictures so mm -hmm. it would be nice and i think i mean from malaria point of view i mean it's uh, I, I agree with you it's hard to uh, I mean, anything we do to try to solve the malaria problem has a good impact in my in my opinion. But I I agree it's when when if you want to put it down and on a piece of paper, then you suddenly like lose words. I don't know where to start even. <laughs> mm. So it's uh, I think it's a good thing to think in those directions. As you said, yes, and I I think <clears throat> uh, to describe it in different ways. One is put it on, on paper and so on, but also then when we talk about impact, like now, uh, it will also be a training. If I would ask you what is the impact of your uh, research, uh, Yasin, please describe. Uh, then then you uh, you will be thinking very intensely how to describe it. And it will not be a perfect description, but it's one more experience. And then next time when someone comes and asks, Justin, now you have my taxpayer uh, money. Uh, what are you doing with my money? Are you making any impact? Then you have a little bit training. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it's not a good idea if I say, like, I'm trying to, to get doctors out of business. <laughs> so maybe that uh -huh. is not a good thing. <laughs> And I say that so, but... we are trying to get doctors out of business so they can make new business, uh, which is uh, not dependent on artificial intelligence and so on, because doctors are so competent and they can uh, evaluate things and put combinations of things together so they will make new things and new business much better for the world. Thank you. Exactly. Or maybe say like they can concentrate on more important stuff than, yeah that's exactly it's it's the same thing but you say it in two different ways one way is better <laughs> yes and uh, the way you said it is, is, is a good starting point because then uh, there will be big ears and you get the tension <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true yeah. it's like um when presenting when, when you start presenting you, you should start with something so people uh, have big ears. So the starting point uh, is a very useful one. Exactly. Yes. I usually I usually start by giving like uh, how to say like describing how big of a problem it is uh, mm. malaria in general, and then try to make some anal analogies to COVID so people have a reference. Oh yeah, that, that, that's a good one. I, I've not been thinking about that. But... Yeah. It affects so... So, so many. And we in Sweden, <laughs> when we have mosquitoes, uh, this is uh, a little bit annoying. Uh, but uh, in, in other places in the world, when you have, have the malaria coming out, then uh, so on from diseases, uh, and of course it's a big influence. And now, since we also uh, we in Sweden, we have experienced the pandemic uh, and effects and so on. Then it is one way how to make a comparison how uh, extended it can be. It's a good exactly. So people can relate from something they know, mm. because I mean, for most for most people in Europe or. I mean, or around the Mediterranean, malaria is, I mean, it's like, it's a disease, but it's somewhere else, so to speak. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yes, that is a good, good comparison. And uh, maybe we can take this in the uh, research to business training about 
uh, how to formulate the comparisons because I have that impact part in that training uh, course, but there are things and I've not been thinking about these comparisons where you actually use this pandemic. So now uh, pandemic is useful for at least two things. One is your comparison, so people can relate to it as in Europe. And the second one is that we are now so flexible with the online meetings that we can easily have online meetings and uh, create projects. And then we save uh, CO2, since we don't need to fly as much to, to meet physically. So that, uh, thanks to pandemic, I, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to help. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, so I think we will uh, finish this uh, um, sharing of uh, what is the role of impact in research and research to business. And there will be more discussions. Uh, but for now, uh, the formal part of the research to business forum is closing. So thank you very much for today. Thank you.